Crash Course on Canadian Hospital Emergency Service and How Are Patients Treated Here? Canada has a publicly funded healthcare system that provides access to emergency medical services for all residents and visitors. Emergency services are provided by hospitals and emergency medical services EMS, providers, which are usually run by the provincial or territorial government. When someone experiences a medical emergency, they can call 911 to request an ambulance. The dispatcher will ask for information about the person's location, the nature of the emergency, and any other relevant details. The dispatcher will then send an ambulance and provide instructions on how to provide first aid until the ambulance arrives. Once the ambulance arrives, paramedics will assess the person's condition and provide any necessary treatment. They may also transport the person to the hospital emergency department for further treatment. In the emergency department, the person will be triaged by a nurse or doctor, which means they will be assessed to determine the severity of their condition and the urgency of their treatment. Patients with life-threatening conditions will be treated immediately, while those with less urgent conditions may have to wait. The healthcare team in the emergency department may include emergency physicians, nurses, respiratory therapists, and other healthcare professionals. They will work to stabilize the patient's condition and provide any necessary treatment, which may include diagnostic tests, medications, and procedures. If the patient requires admission to the hospital, they may be transferred to a hospital ward or intensive care unit. They may also be referred to a specialist for further treatment. In Canada, hospital emergency services are generally categorized into three levels, which are based on the level of care and resources available. These categories are Level 1. This is the highest level of emergency care, and it is provided by trauma centers or major teaching hospitals. Level 1 emergency departments are equipped to handle the most severe medical emergencies, such as heart attacks, strokes, and severe trauma. These emergency departments are staffed by highly trained healthcare professionals, including emergency physicians, critical care nurses, and other specialists. Patients in Level 1 emergency departments typically receive immediate care, with no or minimal wait time. Level 2. This level of emergency care is provided by community hospitals and is designed to handle less severe emergencies. Level 2 emergency departments are equipped to handle a range of medical emergencies, including broken bones, cuts and bruises, and respiratory infections. These emergency departments are staffed by emergency physicians, nurses, and other healthcare professionals. Patients in Level 2 emergency departments may have to wait to receive care, depending on the severity of their condition. Level 3. This level of emergency care is provided by smaller community hospitals and is designed to handle minor medical emergencies. Level 3 emergency departments are equipped to handle conditions such as minor cuts and bruises, fever, and sore throats. These emergency departments are staffed by emergency physicians, nurses, and other healthcare professionals. Patients in Level 3 emergency departments may have to wait to receive care, depending on the severity of their condition and the availability of resources. In addition to these levels of emergency care, there are also specialized emergency services, such as pediatric emergency services, psychiatric emergency services, and geriatric emergency services. These services are designed to provide specialized care to specific patient populations. The waiting times for emergency services in Canada can vary depending on the severity of the patient's condition and the availability of resources. Patients with life-threatening conditions are typically treated immediately, while those with less urgent conditions may have to wait. The Canadian government has set national targets for wait times in emergency departments, which aim to ensure that patients receive timely care. However, wait times can still vary depending on the specific hospital and the demand for emergency services at any given time. One interesting example of emergency medical services in Canada is the use of air ambulances. Canada has a large geographic area, and some areas are difficult to access by ground ambulance. Air ambulances are used to transport patients in remote or inaccessible areas to hospitals for emergency medical care. Another interesting example is the use of telemedicine in emergency departments. Some hospitals in Canada use telemedicine to connect emergency physicians with specialists in other locations. This allows emergency physicians to consult with specialists and provide more specialized care to patients. In terms of challenges, one issue facing emergency services in Canada is overcrowding in emergency departments. This can lead to longer wait times and delays in treatment. The healthcare system is working to address this issue through initiatives such as increasing capacity and improving patient flow. The history of hospital emergency services in Canada dates back to the early 1900s, when the first ambulance services were established in major cities such as Toronto and Montreal. These early ambulance services were often run by private companies and provided basic medical care and transportation to hospitals. 
In the 1960s, the Canadian government established a national healthcare system, which provided access to emergency medical services for all residents. This led to the expansion of hospital emergency services across the country, with many hospitals adding emergency departments and specialized emergency services. Today, Canada's emergency medical services are recognized as among the best in the world, with a focus on providing timely and effective care to patients in emergency situations. One of the key achievements of Canada's emergency medical services is the high level of collaboration between emergency medical services providers, hospitals, and other healthcare organizations. This collaboration has led to the development of standardized protocols and guidelines for emergency care, as well as the use of advanced technologies and specialized equipment. However, there are also challenges facing Canada's emergency medical services. One of the biggest challenges is overcrowding in emergency departments, which can lead to longer wait times and delays in treatment. This issue has been exacerbated by the growing demand for emergency services and the increasing complexity of medical cases. Regional differences in emergency medical services also exist in Canada. Some provinces have more advanced emergency medical services systems than others, and access to emergency services can vary depending on where someone lives. In addition, some communities, particularly those in rural and remote areas, may face unique challenges in accessing emergency medical services due to the lack of resources and the distance from hospitals. Despite these challenges, Canada's emergency medical services continue to provide high-quality care to patients in emergency situations. Through ongoing efforts to improve and innovate emergency medical services, the healthcare system is working to ensure that all Canadians have access to timely and effective emergency care. Overall, Canada's emergency medical services provide access to high-quality emergency care for all residents and visitors. Through the use of advanced technology and a skilled healthcare team, patients are able to receive timely and effective treatment in emergency situations. We hope this video has given you a taste of all the incredible experiences Canada has to offer. If you're ready to start planning your own adventure to Canada, please ensure to use our booking.com referral link. https colon slash slash www.booking.com slash index dot html question mark i to book your flights, hotels, car rentals, local attractions, and more. It's an easy and kind way to support this channel and make sure you get the best possible deals on your trip. Thank you. Anhub Metaverse Team at Vancouver, Canada CA